What is going on guys? It's Suk and I am back with a brand new video on Super Duper Tech. And in today's video, I'll be doing a speed test comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S8 and the HTC 10. Now this is just a friendly reminder to remind you guys that if you haven't subscribed to go ahead and do so, as I will be uploading a number of these speed test comparison videos between the up and coming iPhone 10, the iPhone 8, the new Pixel phone, along with the Samsung Note 8. So without any further ado, let's hit the titles. So first up, I do want to get into talking about the specifications of these devices. Now the HTC 10 was released in May of 2016 and comes with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 quad-core processor, which has two of its cores clocked at 2.15 GHz and the other two at 1.6 GHz. I do also want to mention that this smartphone has 4 GB of RAM. Whereas the Samsung Galaxy S8 was released in March of 2017. Now I do have the international variant which means it comes with the Exynos 8895 octa-core processor and with this four of its cores are clocked at 2.3 gigahertz and the other four are clocked at 1.7 gigahertz and just like the HTC 10 this smartphone once again comes with four gigabytes of RAM. So of course first up is the boot up speed test now this is to see which of these smartphones boots up the fastest. Now I'm sure you guys are aware that as the HTC 10 is the older of these devices and has the slower of these processors that it will come in last place. But I think the interesting to see in this speed test is just how far behind the HTC 10 is when compared to the S8. So already you guys can see that the S8 has finished booting up and did so with a time of 21 seconds. And just as the HTC 10 finishes loading up, you guys can already see the major differences between these two devices as the HTC 10 finishes loading up in around 41 seconds. So now on to the RAM and application speed test. Of course, prior to doing this, I did ensure that all applications were closed. And starting the stopwatch on both of these devices, going through the settings and camera apps and now starting the social media applications you guys can see that the HTC 10 did struggle to close the Facebook application and it's really freezing and being able not to close that Facebook application in time that has given the S8 this advantage as you guys can see it currently has around a two to three application lead and as you guys can see the S8 finishes loading up Uber and is now on to another row of applications this time eBay, Amazon, Wikipedia and Lapsit Pro. And as you guys can see, this two application advantage which the S8 had over the HTC 10 has now improved to around a four application lead. And as the S8 finishes loading up Lapsit Pro, it now begins the export of a two second 4K file that was shot at 30 frames per second. Now, of course, both of these smartphones will be exporting the same video file on Lapsit Pro. What you guys will notice is by the time the HTC 10 starts exporting that video file on Lapsit Pro that the S8 has already gone past halfway exporting this file. And judging by the time remaining on both of these smartphones, it currently looks like the S8 has around a 23 second advantage over the HCC 10. So as the S8 finishes exporting this video file, it now starts opening up its final four gaming applications, starting off with Subway Surfers, then Pokemon Go, Injustice 2, and lastly Super Mario Run. I am now going to start speeding up this footage, but as you guys can clearly see, the S8 has around a two application advantage as the HTC 10 finishes that export on Lapsit Pro and finally starts opening up these gaming applications. As the S8 finishes loading up its final gaming application Super Mario Run, it does so to finish its first lap with a total time of two minutes and 36 seconds. It then goes on to its second lap, reopening all of these applications to see if they're held successfully in the RAM. Now by the time the S8 gets over 60% through its second lap, you guys can see that the HTC 10 is now starting to load up its final gaming application on its first lap. And as you guys can see, the HTC 10 finishes its first lap with a time taken of three minutes and 19 seconds. 
I am once again going to speed up this footage as the HTC 10 had to reload all of the applications whereas the S8 had to reload all of the gaming applications. Of course if the S8 was able to hold these final game applications in its RAM successfully then its time would have been considerably faster. And once again if you guys are looking at the HTC 10 you will notice that every single application like I said earlier had to be reloaded. Now I would bet that if the HTC 10 was able to hold all of these applications successfully in its RAM that it would be able to post a faster time than the S8 which does so with a total time of 4 minutes and 32 seconds with final lap taking around 1 minute and 55. Now I do want to point this out that it did take the HTC 10 around 1 minute and 20 seconds just to load up those four game applications. If it was able to hold these four gaming applications in its RAM successfully, then the time taken for its second lap would be highly competitive, at least to the S8's time. And the HTC 10 now finishes loading up its final gaming application to give us a total time taken of 6 minutes and 43 seconds, with the final lap taking 3 minutes and 23 seconds. And like I said, if it was able to successfully hold those 4 game applications in its RAM, then of course the time would be a lot competitive to the final lap time of the S8. But if you guys are interested in seeing how the HTC U11, the successor to the HTC 10, fared against the S8, then you guys can click the card in the top right corner to go and check that video out. So today's speed test winner is the Samsung Galaxy S8 with its octa-core Exynos 8895 processor along with 4GB of RAM besting the specs of the HTC 10. So guys that has been it for today's video, I do hope you did enjoy it, if you did enjoy it then be sure to hit that like button and if you want you around here then be sure to subscribe. If you've got any questions or queries or do want to see what videos I'm currently working on then be sure to add me and follow me on my social media. Once again, thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.